out about. Hmm, must be serious. So let's make tracks. I suggest we head for high ground. Eagle, look how it is. Hup, 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 hup. Can I ask something? What are we running from? Good point there, Emily. I don't believe Patty actually said what the danger was. Shh, shut up, Emily. <laughs> what can that be? <laughs> We've heard lots of stories about foxes, haven't we? None of them any good, Kevin. But he's crying. Oh, he looked harmless enough. Let's check him out. <laughs> <coughs> What's the matter? Why are you crying? I have travelled so long and far. I'm tired, hungry and broken. But that's not your worry. It's so nice to meet you. My name is Clinton. I'm Kevin. Wow, I've never seen a fox up close before. And you're such an imposing creature, Kevin. You must have an adventurous nature to match. Well, I... <laughs> sure, well, <laughs> adventure, that's me. I'm Wally. I'd like to know more about foxes. And so you shall. Such curiosity must be the product of a great intelligence. <laughs> Do you really think so? Um, and I'm Christy, but just don't try anything, OK? I wouldn't think of such a thing against someone so bold as you. Christy. Oh, you better believe it. I'm Emily. I'm... Ah, you don't have to say another word. You're clearly the beauty of the creek. Oh, I wouldn't say that, but you can say it again. What brings you to our home, Clinton? I seek a place to rest, a place with kind and understanding creatures. What do you reckon? He seems okay. It probably won't be for long. Yeah, perhaps you should stay here with us for a while, be our guest. Thank you. Thank you. You're too kind. Come on, Clinty. We'll go and have a look-see about the creek. A fox? Oh, I'm going to tell Mog about this. A fox? Are you sure? Yeah. He looked like him. <gasps> Here's him. For once, you're right, Garbo. Amazing, but true. <laughs> Thanks. So, a fox. Well, listen here, pal. This creek is my patch and you're not muscling in, OK? Don't try any of that slippery fox charm on me. Please, my dear lady, I've come to pay my respects to the queen of the creek and to bow before her greatness. Well, at least you know a queen when... Hey, wait a minute. I told you not to try anything on me. Let me explain myself. I seek a new home here. What? Naturally, I could never take your place. Nor could I even be one of your brainless henchmen. Yeah, those jobs are taken. But I could help you get rid of those furry creatures down at the creek. Oh, yes, how? Huh? Legend speaks from long ago of my great uncle, who beguiled a flock of chickens by fooling them into believing the sky was falling. They were so afraid, so confused, that they did anything he commanded. I will do the same to those furry creatures. I will live the legend. Oh, really? I will scare them into the cave. I will trap them. Then I will dine on them one by one. <laughs> <laughs> it won't work. Those furry freaks always get lucky. Luck will never defeat the cunning of a fox. Luck. Here's what I need you to do. Good morning, Clinton. So, what do you think of our creek, Clinty? You enjoying it? Oh, yes. I've fallen in love with your beautiful creek. I'm particularly interested in this spot here. And that spot is excellent. <laughs> <laughs> you ready? Yeah, I'm ready. So, what are we doing? We're throwing this on the gang when we get the signal. Oh, yeah, yeah, I'm ready, yeah, yeah. This spot here? Yes, that spot. Right there. Now! <laughs> ah! Oops! 
you okay, Clinty? Uh, uh, what could this be? Where did it come from? Oh no, it's a piece of the sky! The sky is breaking up and falling on us! Oh. We must escape for the safety of a cave! It's the perfect trap! Only the shelter! Follow me! <laughs> Fools! <laughs> quickly, quickly! Inside! Ah, <laughs> uh, friends? Where could they be? Oh, friends! Friends! Where are you? Hello? Oh, there's there. Okay. Put that there! Oh, no, Put it on top of it! There you are! I've been searching for you all morning. Oh, we couldn't just turn tail and hide in a cave while the sky is falling. We had to do something, right? Uh, yes, uh, of course. Yeah, something had to be done. So? We've come up with a plan to fix the sky. Fix the sky? <laughs> Look at this. We built this thing to get up high and put the sky right back where it belongs. I don't know. Are you sure it's going to be safe? Of course it's safe. Ye of little faith. Check this out. <laughs> Emily's right, Kevin. Of course I'm right. It doesn't look very safe at all. I have the answer. You climb up and repair the sky while I stay here and make sure the structure doesn't wobble. Thanks, Clinton. It's very thoughtful of you. How easy can this be? All right, dinner. Down you come. <laughs> uh? I'm at Max Stretch, gang. We need to get even higher. Clinty? Did you find a problem? Uh, oh, uh, yes. Uh, 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 this point, here. Yeah, uh, very unsafe. See? <laughs> Clinty, you okay? Breathe. Speak to us. Uh, I told you. Uh, platform. Unsafe. I knew. I did. <laughs> oh, thanks, Clinton. Without you, we could have been in big trouble. You know what, Clinty? You're a real mate. I'm glad you think so. But what are we going to do about the sky? We still have to fix it. Uh, why don't you leave this to me? I'm sure I could devise a plan. Sweet. Oh, you're so helpful and nice. You just return to the creek and wait for me while I think a little. You know what? Those bad stories about foxes are a lot of hoo-ha. Getting rid of these bush babies is proving more difficult than I thought. I told you, <laughs> Fox. Luck is on their side. No luck will defeat my next plan, Cat. We're waiting. This is called a balloon. Oh. A balloon? It's a large bag of hot air that can fly us up to reach the sky and then repair it. And how do we make this balloon? Oh, an easy matter. A few vines, some rags from the dump, we tie them all together, then we heat the air inside the balloon with a fire. <laughs> Oh, no. We don't touch fire, Clinty. Bush babies. Uh, but don't worry. I'll handle it. I don't know. Flying in the sky. Isn't that dangerous? Oh, my friends. Would oh. I suggest something that could hurt you? Oh, good mate, Clinty. Exactly. Off you go and collect what we need. Quickly as you can now. <laughs> Here we go. All this effort for a new home. There must be an easier way. Clinton is so knowledgeable. I wish he could stay longer. Double better. Why don't we ask if he wants to make the creek his new home? Permanent like, you know, all the time. Yeah, we'll ask him right after we fix the sky. Well done. Exceptional work. Do you really think so, Clinton? Indeed I do. Now, just hop into the basket and we'll go and fix that pesky broken sky. Oh, no. I don't know. In there? Don't worry. I'll be with you all the way. Oh, oh really? You get in. I'll untie the anchor rope and jump in with you. Look at that. The fox might actually do it. He might actually get rid of the furry freaks. So that fox is doing what you could never do, Mog? No. This is, uh, this is part of my master plan. Oh, yeah, the master plan. Yeah, yeah. What, what master plan? I planned for the fox to do the hard work while we sat back and relaxed. Then we can get rid of the fox. Oh, yeah, that oh, master yeah, yeah. plan. Oh, yeah, yeah, I remember now. Yeah, that's a good plan. You're so clever. Aren't I just? 
Oh, 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 so so Are we all ready, friends? Yeah, just one question, Clinton. Um, how do you control the balloon? I mean, we, we could fly away and never come back. <laughs> we can only hope, can't we? Now. Huh? Shouldn't we be going up? Yes, you should. Well, why aren't we? Yes, why aren't you? Everybody out! Oh. I don't understand it. What could the problem be? Here it is. You forgot this rope. What rope? This rope. What are you doing? Don't touch that. No. You've got to get in first. Quickly. Grab the rope. Grab the rope. Oh. Grab it. Grab it. Got lucky again! Was that part of the master plan too? Oh, uh, yes! Of course it was! Next part, get my dinner! Now! Oh, oh this master plan stinks! Bye bye, Fox! Oh, I love it when a plan comes together, even one I never really had. <laughs> they can't beat me! I'm sly, I'm cunning, I'm ingenious! I'm a fox! A fox! Clinton! Oh, I, <laughs> I think he planned this. Huh? Well, he wanted to fix the sky himself because he didn't want to put any of us in danger. He did that for us. What a wonderful friend. Where do you think he's going? Somewhere good. I just know it. Someone like Clinton will get all he deserves and more. Let's hope so, because he's the best. <laughs> oh.